Hi, in this session we will talk about Discharge MedRack. And in order to demonstrate uh, Discharge MedRack, we're going to end up using two patients. Both are, are fake, just to remind. Um, once uh, you're ready to discharge a patient, um, you will have to do DPART and then also follow the module on ePrescribe. However, within DPART, you will have to do this thing called Discharge MedRack, and that's what this session is going to be focusing in on Discharge MedRack. For ePrescribe questions, please go to the ePrescribe module, and for appropriately discharging a patient, please go to the Discharging a Patient module. And so if you try to um, open up a chart to, to do Discharge MedRack, um, it'll open to this results review page where you'll have to click orders to get to the orders part of the chart. And then if you try to do discharge med rack, um, and I'll alert you to the statuses here on the right where it says meds history, um, which has not been done, says incomplete, admission med rack not started, and discharge med rack not started. If you were to click discharge med rack, this alert will happen. It will say no order history was performed. In fact, what it's going to look for is that you need to be able to do a medications by history or home meds, and nurses and farm techs are supposed to be doing that. So if they haven't done that, that's the cue for them to do that. You will not be able to perform a discharge med rack unless a med history has been performed. And so if you click OK, um, we'll go to a separate patient. Um, here, where you see on the top right, you see the meds history has been performed an admission med rec has been performed and as well as you can see with a green check mark and we're going to launch the discharge med rec module from this drop down where it says reconciliation and click discharge and what you're going to see are medications that are uh, on the patient's profile and you must understand what they stand for and what they are so this is the, the window. On the left side, it gives you orders prior to discharge med rec. On the right side here, it gives you orders after discharge med rec. And then in the middle uh, is where you make must make a choice. And so green means continue. The prescription bottle means create a new prescription. And the red means, the red square means stop the med. And so on the left side, you see here it says, home medication, the scroll is a home med, and uh, that's a nurse would have done that. You see that there's a uh, Lipitor 10 milligrams per prescribed at home when prior to the patient coming in. And so what the system has done is it's defaulted in choices uh, for you. You can certainly change them, but it's defaulted all home meds that you see here to continue upon discharge. So it's assuming that no changes have been made to the home meds uh, upon discharge. And it's defaulting all inpatient meds, you see by this hospital icon, like this aspirin inpatient, to a defaulting it to a discontinue. Okay, so you're, you're basically, when the patient goes home, uh, simply working off of a list of patient, a list of medications. And it's also taking any medications that were new that were prescribed in the hospital, let's say for instance lisinopril, that was new, that didn't come, the patient didn't come home with it, and so there's only an inpatient med associated with it, and that's also defaulting to a discontinue, uh, to do not prescribe after discharge. So at, at best you're starting off with all the home meds continuing upon discharge. Now comes the point of manipulation. So I'm going to show you Let's say, for instance, we did not want to prescribe them on Lipitor going home. They came in on it. They came in on the medicine. Um, and so we don't want them going home on it. So you just simply click the red colored box. So any medication that you don't want to continue upon discharge, you just select the third column denoted with a red box. And any medication that you do want to continue, let's say they require a new medication called lisinopril. They got put on it during this hospitalization, but we want to create a new prescription for it because they never had a prescription. So you just click the middle column, which is create a new prescription. And notice a new prescription uh, has been created for lisinopril. 
Once again, please refer to the e-prescribe module on how to e-prescribe that lisinopril. So if you click on listen, left click on the lisinopril, uh, an order details window opens. It's pres called a prescript writer. And basically, uh, from left to right, it's all the, the, uh, the fields on a paper prescription. So maybe I want to start them off at 5, 1 tab, P, O, Q, day, and I want a 30-day supply. And this is a maintenance med that we want to give because they're not going to come off of lisinopril. So um, simply, I just wanted you to see that um, so you can manipulate any of these fields, frequency, route, and dose, OK, um, prior to um, signing it in as a prescription. So if you minimize the detail field, you'll see that we're back to where we were with uh, with uh, um, uh, discharge medrac. So now let's say we wanted to increase the dose of synthroid. They came in on 100 micrograms a day, and we noted that their TSH was ridiculously suppressed, um, and free T4 were really high. So we want to increase their synthroid. So the way to do that is to be able to take this home med and create a prescription out of it, because we're actually changing the dose. So I'm going to click the middle column, and what will happen is I'm changing this home med to a prescription. I'm, I alternatively could have discontinued the home med and changed the uh, inpatient med to a prescription. Same effect. If you click left, left click on the, the Synthroid, um, maybe I don't want 100 mics. Maybe I want the next one up, which is 150 mics. And I would say one tab, BO, Q day. So I've said one tab of the 150 mic med, BO, Q day, 30 days, maintenance med, and no, a new prescription has been created. So I took a home med and upped its dose based off of their hospitalization. Um, Maybe, uh, so we've converted an, a hospital med to a prescription. We've converted a home med to a prescription. What if we wanted to add additional meds to go home on? The way you do that is you click on the left, up top left corner here, the add button. And here you would search, let's say we were going to prescribe them an antibiotic. And I'm not going to pick Cipro, I'm going to search, let's say I want Augmentin. I'm going to search Augmentin. And I'm going to see that I want to prescribe them eight, 875 oral tablet. And I want to prescribe a one tab twice a day for seven days. OK. Click OK. Click Done. Close your search box. Note a new prescription got added calls, call, uh, called Augmentin. The prescription screen is here for Augmentin. One tab POQ day for seven days, 14 tablets. It is an acute med because it's an antibiotic. It's not a maintenance med. Okay, so that's how one would add additional meds um, to the patient's discharge med rec um, profile. So I've taken a new med, I've converted a home med, I've converted an inpatient med to prescriptions. Um, what if one said, um, I want to change the an existing prescription. What if you decided prior to signing I want to change this to 10? You just simply click on the lisinopril and go to say two tabs. So you know one can simply click on fields and uh, add or modify certain prescriptions. At this stage you would not click sign in print. You would just simply click sign. And once again I refer. If this is going to go to a pharmacy electronically, you would click on this drop down and select the pharmacy from here, or go and find the pharmacy if none is uh, selected. And that is described in the e prescribe module. It's not going to be described here. Um, so please go there. And simply at the end of this, once you're satisfied, click the sign button, and that will effectively do e prescribe in the e prescribe module as well as uh, it will do your discharge med rec documenting it in the system electronically. And notice once that screen closes, that the top right corner, it says here, Discharge MedRec is complete. And once again, if you click down here on the bottom left, it says Reconciliation History. It keeps a track of what was done. If you click on the Discharge MedRec, uh, um, here it says at this specific date and time, 
the following decisions were made regarding the patient's meds. Thanks. This concludes the session.